Good evening, our beloved viewers. You are watching our live RTD channel. Welcome to this English news edition. Here are the top stories. The head of the state received official uh, from a forum of a general state inspections of Africa and similar institution. The money transfer employment for young Djiboutian. And on the uh, international scene, stunning that uh, not enough aid, uh, a UN calls so for immediate ceasefire. Those were uh, the headlines. Thanks for joining us in our newsroom. The President of the Republic, His Excellency Ismail Margili, received this morning at the Palace of the Republic uh, the member of a steering committee of the General State uh, Inspections of Africa and similar institution. This uh, delegation participated in the work at the uh, 13 ordinary meeting of uh, the steering committee of Forum of General State Inspection of Africa and similar inspections, uh, which uh, uh, took place uh, October 24, 25, uh, 2023, at the Djibouti uh, Palace Kempeski, created in 2006 under the patronage of uh, the President of the Republic. This organization of a general inspector of African state uh, is of uh, particular importance uh, in the current landscape uh, with a view to ensuring the proper implementation of uh, the guidelines set by the respective head of the state uh, in the management of uh, public affairs, uh, also a platform for the exchange of expertise to assess the major issues linked to the governance, transparency and accountability in African public administrations uh, during the meeting. The head of the state uh, and uh, the members of uh, uh, the steering committee uh, uh, directory the state inspection in Africa addressed uh, several points, uh, notably made up of uh, the main officials and directors uh, who are members of uh, the African State General Inspection Committee who came uh, to an end, uh, the 13 uh, uh, forum, notably Congo, Angola, Ivory Coast, uh, Burkina Faso, Madagascar, and Mauritania. The Inspector General of uh, the State of uh, the Republic of uh, uh, Congo and Angola uh, made uh, uh, the Inspector General of uh, the State of Angola uh, made a speech uh, uh, to, they said, uh, the, uh, made the main uh, inspections uh, general of the state of the Republic of Congo and Angola uh, thank the President of uh, the Republic, uh, His Excellency Ismail Magili, uh, for his support and uh, uh, for the efforts and continued to work of uh, the organization, which is uh, the uh, Fiji. Uh, this uh, organization of African state general inspection is of uh, particular importance in the current uh, landscape uh, in order to ensure the proper implementation of uh, the guidelines set. For its part, the Inspector General of uh, the State of uh, Mauritania called the importance of uh, the 13th Forum of uh, uh, General State Inspection of uh, Africa and similar institution uh, he said, uh, which is a uh, space of, for dialogue and mutual learning with a view to founding common solution to overcome challenges and uh, harness uh, resources uh, for sustainable development. The forum was also an opportunity to strengthen cooperation between government, government inspections, uh, uh, institution, and produce uh, eminent positive results in a strategy order of uh, privilege uh, activities, uh, particularly in terms of uh, performance and effectiveness of uh, public administration and other state institutions. Finally, the Inspector General of uh, the State of uh, the Republic of Djibouti and the Executive Secretary of uh, Fiji uh, indicate that this uh, forum is an opportunity to discuss and exchange the expertise of uh, member countries uh, with, uh, with a view to strengthening the development of uh, governance and uh, transparency administration in this file.
The Prime Minister Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed was safe uh, at the end of uh, this morning in the presence of uh, the Secretary General of uh, the Prime Minister, the uh, Hall of uh, Honours, Ms. Uh, Anna Loverjohn, a uh, campaign by her expert and Minister of Delegate in charge of uh, Digital Economy and Innovation, Ms. Maria Mohamedou. Indeed, uh, following the meeting at the uh, Viva Te Technologies 2023 in Paris, uh, the exhibition on innovation and uh, startups, uh, known as uh, uh, ALP, uh, was invited by the Ministry in charge of uh, digital economy and future innovation to uh, share its expertise in the file of innovation with the aim of uh, realizing a potential collaboration with the president, indeed, uh, Ms. Anne Loverjohn, uh, through the partners and investment uh, for the advisor uh, structure created in 2011, brings uh, an advanced expertise in the file of uh, innovation, information, and communication technologies, as well as investment. Uh, this working uh, visit uh, will allow them to present their achievement, explore investment opportunities, and share the the best practices in innovations uh, with the Djiboutian stakeholders, especially for the, uh, to highlight the opportunities and benefit of the innovation sector in the hope of encouraging investment, simulating uh, job creation and uh, fostering economic uh, growth, a uh, strengthening of a partnership with the aim to uh, include direct investment, technologies uh, transfer and knowledge exchange, uh, but also uh, to create opportunities for mutual uh, growth. In her speech, uh, the president of uh, the ALP, Ms. Anne Loverjohn, recalled the importance of uh, this visit, uh, which aims to promote innovation and strengthen economic partnership and explore investment opportunities in Djibouti. Uh, Ms. Anne also precised that uh, she said Djibouti is a, a strategic hub uh, which uh, could also become an innovation hub and the uh, need of in the need to lead the discussion on business model change for the development of uh, innovation, she concluded. This morning, the Djibouti Telecom, the Minister of Communication, accompanied by the counterpart from Youth Culture, uh, launched the multi service uh, uh, ceremony. Uh, this uh, innovative uh, initiative by DMANI with the UNDP aims to create employment opportunities for young Djiboutian, Djibouti Telecom and uh, United Nations Development Program UNDP today signed uh, a groundbreaking partnership agreement. This project uh, which uh, consists of uh, rehabilitating all telephones uh, both opens new economic and uh, a social prospect for young people looking for a better future. Uh, this involves uh, transforming 10 absolute uh, telephone boats into a multi-service uh, boat uh, with an advent of mobile uh, telephone. Uh, there, uh, these uh, boat cabin have become obsolete, but uh, thanks to this initiative, uh, they have found a new vision uh, by offering local service to the residents of uh, the neighborhoods in, church in which uh, they will be located. This uh, multi-service cabin uh, will be equipped uh, with an office kit and uh, computer, uh, photo and printers, but also solar panels uh, to guarantee their energy and a simple idea, but uh, one that could transform the life of uh, young people and young Djiboutian. This project received uh, enthusiastic uh, support from UNDP uh, due to its uh, uh, both social and economic potential. It aims to provide employment opportunities to young people in modest uh, uh, neighborhood uh, and uh, job seeker, in particular young people with uh, special need. Uh, Ten young, young people from different neighborhoods of uh, Djibouti City and its uh, uh, surrounding were carefully selected to participate in the pilot uh, phase of uh, this project. Among them, 
uh, majority life with the disabled uh, people. And uh, during this uh, job interview, uh, they demonstrate exceptional enthusiasm and determination to seize uh, this opportunity. In her intervention, the Minister of Youth and Culture uh, said in her speech that this project received uh, the uh, support of uh, UNDP because of uh, its uh, both social and economic potential uh, for the upcoming 10 young people from different neighborhoods of uh, Djibouti City will also benefit from personalized support to ensure the success of uh, this pilot phase. The minister said that this project aimed to extend uh, the multi-service uh, cabin throughout uh, the country that's uh, creating more employment opportunities for young Djiboutian. For its part, the minister of uh, Telecom uh, noted that uh, the uh, coming weeks, uh, uh, these young managers uh, trained by Djibouti Telecom in the principle of entrepreneurial management uh, will receive the keys uh, to their cabins as well as uh, star, uh, startup funds uh, to uh, launch their activities. Uh, the minister also added that this project aims to provide employment opportunities for young people in modest uh, uh, and uh, the people with a special need and a job seeker, but in particular uh, for the Djiboutian population. The Chief of General Staff of the Army Forces uh, yesterday made uh, a very important inspection a visit to the north, more precisely to Tajora uh, Army Regiment. The primary objective of this uh, visit was uh, to inquire about the uh, security situation prevailing within the regime and to give specific security instructions. Uh, uh, this approach is part of uh, the uh, Chief of General Army Forces, uh, Lieutenant General Zakaria Sheikh Ibrahim, a mission to supervise operation and ensure the security of uh, the country, particularly in its uh, northern zone. Uh, this visit allowed the uh, CMGA to uh, shake the operational, to check the operational preparation of uh, the troops, uh, the state of uh, instructions, uh, infrastructure and uh, equipment, as well as uh, coordinations uh, between the different branch of uh, the Army Forces uh, deployed there. This first stage of inspections uh, aim to strengthen vigilance and ensure that uh, the Juro regime is ready to respond effective uh, uh, to any eventually upcoming. The Chief of General Staff of the Army Forces yesterday made uh, this uh, very important, uh, uh, more precisely for the country, the situation prevailing with this. Uh, on the same day yesterday, following the inspection of in the north, uh, Lieutenant General Zakaria Sheikh Ibrahim went to Mariama Operational Training Center. This part of a uh, visit was uh, divided into two distinguished uh, phases, each of which was of uh, crucial importance. Uh, the uh, first uh, uh, Phase uh, consists of verifying the arrangement in place uh, to host a joint mass exercise, uh, uh, which will begin uh, within the next 20, uh, 72 hours. This was uh, to ensure that all the necessary conditions were met to successfully carry out this exercise. The second phase of the inspection were focused on uh, making contact with the Hill 11 Battalion, uh, which uh, which uh, will uh, inspect uh, the 
ongoing operational preparation of its uh, upcoming uh, deployment uh, to Somalia under the uh, ATMIS banners. CM Gay had the opportunity to speak with a member of a battalion assess uh, their state of readiness and provide them with important directive for their upcoming mission. <laughs> Uh, this morning, the uh, Chief of uh, General Staff of the Army Forces, uh, Lieutenant General Zakaria Sheikh Ibrahim, uh, accompanied by the Chief Defense Staff and Director General for the National Police, uh, paid a visit to the Dumera Tactical Command Post, uh, placed under the command of Lieutenant Colonel Ilyas Omar Yusuf, the soldiers in charge of uh, this borders area were uh, at the center of uh, this inspection. The main objective of the visit uh, was uh, uh, TOEFL to access the level of uh, security and morals uh, of uh, the troops uh, in the region. Uh, the Chief of General Staff of the Army Forces also paid tribute to the mayor, the martyrs uh, uh, who start sacrifice uh, their life uh, during the Dumara conflict that's marking their dedication to the national defense. Finally, the visit made it uh, possible to establish essential contact uh, with the local population and to provide instruction to the military, particularly uh, with uh, regard to assistance and and migrants and maintaining operationally the vigilance uh, in our country. Seflaba afla na hai, gesi amina na hai, indi dalka na hai. Awur iyo maspano, edat ku imakaro. Abur iyo maspano, edat kui makaro. Abba ha del kenyo, u aniga itali. Arri ma ha kasoba ha kaat kai na ya na hai. Masbano, edat ku i makaro. Abur iyo masbano, edat ku i makaro. Abha del kenyo, ku ani gai tali. Arri ma ha kasoba ha ka at kai na ya na gai. Ifka intan kuno lahi, en ilka leydin wadigu ogata otkur abuda armiga armiga inansi. Ka in 
At the end, the Lieutenant General Zakaria Sheikh Ibrahim, the Army Forces General Staff, address a few words to the various elements of the training corps present on site. In his speech, the Chief of Army Forces General Staff reaffirm his support for the state's policy and preservation of peace and stability both inside and outside the country. Whatever the numbers and resources available, the Lieutenant General also recalled that after 45, 46 years of existence, our country is on is uh, doing well despite uh, some uh, minor uh, difficulties that have been overcome thanks to the grace of God. He added that uh, their presence on the site uh, uh, the day was uh, intended to bring uh, various army uh, corps closer together and to remind them of uh, the importance of their mission to ensure uh, the integrity of uh, the territory an absolute priority. He recalled the fundamental values uh, that guide their institutions, such as uh, honors, disciplines, love of a country, and unity. Uh, he also stressed uh, the importance of rigors uh, and uh, sacrifice uh, and self-sacrifice for the chief of uh, general staff of the army forces underlined his admiration for the soldiers' his, uh, commitment to the mission they carry out, saying that I would like to express my deep gratitude for the commitment you showed in carrying out for your mission. Be proud of you and what you're doing. Just uh, I am proud of you, your family and the nation as well uh, can also be proud of you conclude uh, the major general zakaria sheikh ibrahim while the weather forecasts predict difficult weather condition the authorities have taken exemplary preventive measure to deal with the future bad weathers early this morning under the direction so far the Prefer for the city of Djibouti, a preparatory meeting of the crisis units was held to coordinate efforts and guarantee the safe of the population. Uh, present at uh, this uh, meeting were present the various uh, government uh, departments linked these issues of national priority. The main objective of this meeting was to effectively prepare for the save severe weather season by addressing their uh, three essential points. Uh, each uh, service uh, concerned uh, with bad weather management uh, presented an assignment of its uh, resources and capacity to deal with the possible natural disaster. This assignment provide a better understanding of uh, the mean uh, available to uh, meet uh, the need of uh, the population in the event of an emergency uh, participating and uh, identify the preventive measure to be taken uh, to overcome the challenges and obstacles related to the bad weather. These include uh, implementing 
and evacuation plan, uh, but also improving early warning uh, systems and uh, coordinating relief effort. Uh, details inventory of uh, the potential challenges and obstacles was uh, drawn up to anticipate situation that could arise. This approach will enable informed decision to made uh, in the event of a crisis. In his speech, the Director General of Meteorological said uh, that uh, this uh, time of uh, pre-active uh, preparation for uh, bad weather, we also wish to send uh, an essential warning to the population due to the uh, harsh uh, and uh, weather condition ahead. It is uh, imperative uh, that uh, you take safely measure to, pro uh, to protect yourself and your uh, loved ones. So we strongly recommend that you do not go outside and beach and and also uh, during this crucial time storms and bad weather uh, can lead to dangerous uh, condition at the uh, seaside encountering the lives of uh, additionally be uh, sure to take special precautions so to protect children who are often more vulnerable in such situation make sure that they stay safe at home and secure inside your home uh, and protect areas the safety of all citizens of Djibouti is our top priority and by following this uh, uh, preparatory uh, precautions type, uh, you will help prevent uh, risk related to the bad, bad waters and uh, stay informed about uh, weather updates and follow uh, the authorities' guideline for your own safety. Together, we will overcome these uh, climate uh, challenges while putting everyone in safety first. The delegation from the Somali Women's Ministry, led by the Minister of Women and Human Rights Development, made a working visit this morning to the National Union of Djibouti Women. After a warm welcome from members of UNFD, the Somali delegation made a wide visit to the information orientation, listening cell for visions and the victims of violence, where they discussed and exchange views uh, with those responsible during a welcome ceremony. The delegation from Somali Women's Ministry welcome this visit of uh, the UNFD headquarters and at the end, at the same time, congratulate Djibouti women and the UNFD for its commitment and its daily support for Djibouti women, children and young girls. During this welcoming ceremony, the Somali delegation spoke with the UNFD security and uh, UNFD uh, secretary general and other members of uh, the organization's leadership to learn more about efforts and promote uh, gender equality and women's rights. For the regional scenes now in Kenya, deployment of police officials to Haiti delayed by the court, uh, Kenyan court on Tuesday extended a court ruling the uh, suspending the deployment of a thousand police officials to Haiti. Uh, mirrored uh, in a cross and gang violence as a part of uh, the UN backed mission. The small Caribbean countries is uh, ex experiencing new record of a crime. The UN warned on Monday that three weeks after giving the green light to the deployment of a non-UN multinational mission led uh, by Kenya to help the police ITNs and the Kenyan government's uh, de decision to deploy police officials in IT has uh, raised many questions in citizens and these uh, uh, critics uh, in the East African uh, country. And now for the international scenes, uh, too many deaths and not enough uh, aid uh, for the UN calls for an immediate ceasefire after another day of uh, daily bombardment. Uh, the UN is uh, calling for an immediate humanitarian ceasefire. Another uh, deadly Israeli strike is uh, one too many 
prompting the UN to call for an immediate ceasefire. This time it, is, uh, it was uh, a marketplace uh, in Nazareth, uh, the uh, center of uh, Gaza Strip, uh, that was uh, bombed. Several uh, shopkeepers were killed and dozens were injured and pulled from the rebels, uh, according to Palestinian emergency service and journalists on the scene. The injured were taken to the Nazareth hospitals in uh, uh, the city, but uh, here uh, to the bar the bombardments were uh, not far away of uh, the city. This is it for this edition. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful evening.